in an amazing study in regards to lung cancer, actually I should say studies when it comes to milk thistle going back as early as 2004 and lung cancer, some things got overlooked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to review one of the studies which was pretty groundbreaking back from 2012. All right, this study was published in the Molecular, or I should say the Journal of Molecular Carcinogenesis, Volume 51, Issue Number 10, on the pages 832 to 842 in October 2012. The study, and this is the actual press release title, Milk Thistle Stops Lung Cancer in Mice. Again, that's the actual press release title. The citation title, in reality, for the science people out there, is syllabin, syllabinin, modulates tumor necrosis factor alpha and interferon gamma synthase mediated signaling to regulate COX-2 and inducible nitric oxide expression in tumorogenic mouse lung epithelial lung metastatic derivative LM2 cell lines. Henceforth, that's why they probably went with this. But outside of that, in regards to the study, this is mostly quotes because lung cancer is a serious issue and I don't want to misquote the researchers. They use an extract called silibin, with in, which is an extract from milk thistle. And what they discovered was this. In lung cancer, the lung tissue itself, they have what's called tissue wound-like condition, which allows the tumors to grow and spread. And what happens is these two enzymes, COX-2, and inducible nitric oxide, the INOS, when they're there, they help the tumor to grow. So what the researchers did is they tried to do, what I should say is break the chain, which results in these two carcinogens forming in regards to lung cancer. And what they noticed is silibinin breaks the chain by preventing the STAT1 and STAT3 enzymes from being produced. Getting a little technical, but by breaking that part of the chain, COX-2 and inducible nitric oxide do not get produced and do not help feed the lung cancer. As an added bonus to the silibinin, they also said, and this is a quote, it basically, in, not the added bonus part, that's my part, inhibited the migration of existing lung cancer cells. And a direct quote from the researchers also, is silibinin may be as effective as today's best treatments. Well, I hope it's better because the average lung cancer survival rate after five years on chemo at this current point in time is 16%. And again, those figures could even be off due to the fact is the high misdiagnosis rate of lung cancer, which is, I'll let you research on your own. So given the fact milk thistle may be as effective as today's best treatments, Given the, also the fact, at least as far as 2012, the average literally cost to treat lung cancer is about $400,000 per year in its early stages. Towards late stages, it's over a million per year. We should be looking more at the silibinin. Now, if you want to research this on your own, go to PubMed, type in silibinin, or I should say silibinin if you want a little easier to read, and lung cancer, and you should come up with at least 44 studies in regards to this milk thistle extract and cancer itself, which are quite amazing as you go to read the abstracts. Most of the full text is gonna be copyrighted. Again, something to research on your own, milk thistle, lung cancer, stopped it in animals, and hopefully someday we'll make it to human research. Thank you.